Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we're gonna look at Rube. Rube is an of course MCP server built by Composio, right? Composio is an integration platform, right? Rube helps you to connect with more than 500 tools and now it's available through an interface, right? That's the important thing. It's, you know, it's really helpful for, you know, even the solo, uh, solo makers or even an entire team, right? And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So if you look at here on my screen, I'm already on Rube, by the way. Right, this is how the interface looks like once you log in and stuff. And before that, if you look at the GitHub repository from Composio HQ, it says Rube is an MCP server that connects your AI tools to 500 plus applications that we use in our daily life. For example, you know, Gmail, GitHub, Slack, Notion, you just name it. You know, it connects with all these tools basically. Now, you know, it's available through an interface now. Let us see a very nice and sleek interface. It says, Get something done today. AI because you know of course I've logged in with AI anytime uh, it has a marketplace where you can connect with more than 500 tools right uh, if you look at here you can find out all these things that I've been talking about Gmail GitHub notions and whatnot the beauty of Rube that it connects with all these agentic IDEs like cursor windsurf Claude code and whatnot and also connects with the chat platforms like Claude for desktop chat GPT and you can connect Rube with your even if you are building something like let's see your own MCP clients that you are building in Python and whatnot, you can also connect with that. And Rube also goes really well with NATN and whatnot. So if you look at here, it says, you know, get something done today. Uh, look at it, it says, look at GitHub PRs and update linear. You know, it has a lot of questions that you can discover here. Get urgent items from my inbox. Uh, and it says, get urgent items. So this is an interface. Here you can connect with all these tools. If you look at here, it says search tools executing. Uh, you know, it will, of course, you have to connect with all these tools through the apps, uh, you know, and you can do all this marketplace, find it out. If you look at here, it says connecting, authorize Gmail. You have to authorize Gmail with that. So let's say I say, I say connect. So you have to authorize this uh, entirely with uh, Composio that you see. And I'm showing you live, by the way. Okay, it says you are now authenticated. You can close the window and go back. And uh, of course we can just, like try it out, uh, run this again and work. Sometimes you have to restart it if it's not working. It will get urgent items from the inbox. Uh, you know, if you are connecting Gmail, let's say if you are connecting GitHub, you can ask questions like, uh, give me a summary of my latest GitHub repository, find out all the latest PR and whatnot. Okay, that's what it does. And this is happening through guys, uh, an interface. And I will show you in a bit that how we can use, you know, IDs or chat platforms. You can look at here. It's fetching some details and whatnot to do that here. You can look at here, Farooq has joined your meeting. Uh, and it's fetching us some sensitive information, but that is completely fine. Uh, you can find out other emails. So it's able to do all of these things, right? Imagine how good it is because now this tool has access to my Gmail and it can do a lot of things over here. You know, it can create next, next steps. It can automatically uh, draft new email replies and whatnot. Now this is happening through here. If you go to marketplace, you can find out a lot of other tools. You know, you have like let's say Gmail is connected. Let's say I I know I enable app. For that, I have to basically do GitHub mobile here, probably. Uh, so that's that's how it works. But yeah, we can do that. Let me try it out here, by the way. Okay. I like to connect with my GitHub. You can see it's already connected. Okay, uh, here. And I can ask questions like find out. Uh, let's say go here, let's go back. Okay. Let's go back, you know, and you, can, you can install also, you can chat. Uh, let's go to chat here and you can already have a chat. Uh, what is the latest GitHub repo I have? Tell me uh, gist of it. Something like this, right? And then it's going to use your GitHub repository, the tool that's going to use to connect with GitHub and fetch all the information that you need. You can look at here, it says search tools, you know, it's going to plan, it's going to execute. And of course, uh, it's going to bring you this information. So it's now making our life easier, guys, right? That's the beauty of MCP. You know, it's a very unified format. It connects with all these tools uh, through a single interface. You don't have to write custom APIs, you know, or build HTTP tools. You just use the MCP servers. And Rue basically enables that for you. So it's taking time. I'll show you how you can also install Rube. So it's very simple to install Rube. If you look at here, I have a command here to install it in my cloud 
uh, desktop. It's called npx compose your MCP latest setup rube.app slash MCP rube client cloud. The reason I'm using it because I'm on the free cloud. If you already have the pro or max plan, it's a bit different. Once it's done, if you look at here, it says all done. Please restart cloud for changes to take effect. And if you look at here, my cloud, I ask use rube to get my last GitHub repo name. And that time my last GitHub repo was AI agents in action. And you can see it has fetched this information. Pretty simple, right? That's that's how it works. It's so simple to use. Uh, and if you look at here, it's getting that for this one. I have a lot of GitHub repositories on my GitHub account. I have more than 300 repositories, guys. Sometimes it might take a little bit of time. Now you can see it has found the GitHub repo uh, for this one and it's able to get it. And same thing, you can also get it. After this, I also pushed more repos you know this was a uh, some time ago i tried yeah, but this is how it works so if you look at roop it's fantastic you can go to apps you can create you know uh, your own apps like you can connect with your own apps you know if you also have to like browse apps connect with notions connect with whatnot now when you want to install you can install Rube with all these identic ids chat platforms or sdks you know starting from chat gpt cloud desktop in Cloud Desktop, this is how you have to do it on the free plan. Copy this you know, command and put that in your terminal and run it. And then just restart and connect with more than 500 apps. That's how it works, guys. So this is this is amazing. I really liked it. You know, uh, this, this tool that we have been seeing, you can find out all the activity logs over here, how much time it took. So it also gives you a bit of observability uh, that you keep an eye of something is going wrong or something is going right and whatnot. If you look at the settings here, you can find out all these details. You know, you can go into the billing for the premium plans as well. So we have chat, we have apps, amazing. And this is how my looks like uh, the organizations. You can do more jobs here, guys. That's up to you. This is what I wanted to highlight in this video. I wanted to introduce Roop to you that how you can use this in your, you know, in your at your workspace uh, to improve your productivity or efficiency, right? And that's amazing. I'll give the link in description. Check it out and let me know your feedbacks or thoughts in the comment box. Uh, you can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us or this video description. If you like this video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.